Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single trinket, every single trinket, every single trinket in The Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a guy who uh, goes round and round the Trinket point. Sunday! Is that easier to edit if I do that? Sunday, Monday. Trinket. Days. Tuesday, Wednesday. Trinket. Days. Thursday, Friday. Trinket. Days. Gary I'm just trying to make it easier for you. Gary right? Butter, it's Gary fucking Gary, Butterfield. Gary, but for Gary fucking Butterfield is just trying to make it it's easier Gary, for you to edit. It's Will, Gary Butterfield. Fucking Hughes. Gary <laughs> Butterfield, who's a really <laughs> nice guy and who really helps me, like really cares about the edit. Yep. And it's just, I'm so glad that I'm, I do this show with him. And Jesus fucking Christ. I'm an edit man. I love to edit and I love to care about edits. And yeah. 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 yeah clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I care about the edit. Yeah. Good. I you got to put in that. The music already and very easy yep. now. Nope, no, no, I put it in. I put it in. Yeah. I, Gary, I promise I put it in. Will. Gary, I promise. I did it. Okay. How many I know, I, I know do I you forgot, think Burgess I know I Meredith has a before he dies? What was that, Gary? I said, how many loads do you think Burgess Meredith has before he dies? Loads of what? Uh, capital L loads. You know. I don't. Like, okay. how much of Burgess Meredith could you load into a wheelbarrow? I don't know. Two? One. A two, one. Oh, two is two is like, that's a roomy bar. That's a roomy barrow. You got I, you got a I, barrow guy. <laughs> I think. I, I are we not talking about putting Burgess Meredith into a kind of compactor? Um, to remove well, yeah, I mean, all of the empty space within him. I suppose we are now, like extruding him like a tube of of toothpaste. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so okay. a Burgess Meredith paste. Okay. okay. And I and now I feel like I went way too conservative. I think I could get six of those in a wheelbarrow. In a paste form? What would be, uh, what's a good use case for a Burgess Meredith paste? Oh, uh, bedeviling your, uh, Batman paste. Mm. (laughs) Or training your Sylvester Stallone paste to box better. Yeah, Crisis on Infinite Pastes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Gary, you know what? I undersold that question. That came from the green room where we were talking sincerely about teaching Burgess Meredith how to masturbate. Yeah. Uh, and I was just trying to short circuit the bit of you being mad at me. Oh, okay. Just because I, I just felt like the time had come. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I was just trying to move us on. That's a beautiful uh, portrait of a Gary Butterfield relationship. <laughs> I just felt like. I've you know, decided like, you're. I am tired of you being mad at me. <laughs> so let's. How do I stop yeah. it? The, uh, welcome. Perhaps I'll ask you a question about a veteran actor's jisms. Welcome, ex girlfriend conference. <laughs> this is the <laughs> keynote speech. Of what I kind of what I do. Hello, That's Carol actually, Brown. Thank you for the musical. Yes, <laughs> not the kind of thing I do to girlfriends. Is the kind of thing I do in the safety of a Will Hughes relationship. Yeah, in the safety of a relationship built on comedic emotional violence. Yes. Yeah. I feel like if there's any relationship, it is good to uh, ask you about Burgess Meredith jerking him off when there's time enough at last. It's you. Because again, he's so sad about the books, but yeah. There's oh, all, there's... Gary, here's a question. Okay. Do you always use a visual aid when you masturbate? No. Neither do I, but I have heard guys talk on podcasts, because where else are they going to talk about masturbating? <laughs> Podcasting, the noble art. Yeah. Oh, the Jesus. gentleman's sport. About suggesting they always need something. As that's though memory or imagination do not exist. That's, that's it. Or, or just like, you know, sounds. You know? What? Like, 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 what? like, like, what? like, uh, yeah, what? like, like, <laughs> like listening to, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, so, so like, I, I, uh. Oh, the sounds uh, of the offspring. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeet, the, um, yeet, 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 yeet. <laughs> skeet, 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 skeet. Um, the, uh, uh, no, if you're like listening to porn, that's also pretty hot. Or like yeah. listening to neighbors have sex, pretty hot. What? You know? Is that not a thing? Gary, you know? there's a <laughs> level of sincerity <laughs> happening here that I am very what intrigued the? by. I just want to blow you away by saying the level of sincerity is 100%. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, uh, well, yeah. you were being sincere when you were talking about neighbors fucking. Yeah. And sometimes just the audio from, from a pornography or like a, a hot audio recording. You know? All right. Okay. The imagination aid. You know? All, all right. I'll even go as far as to say that I, with a... Uh, just I, a I've, really good saucy uh, bodice ripper. I have audiobook. Uh, I have recorded the sounds with with girlfriends in the past of ha- of me having sex and listened to it before. So, I've never done video. I think that that's weird. I don't want to see myself. <laughs> but the, 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 the how is that how is that the line? How is that? Yeah, I, I want to 
want to hear my love oinks, but I don't want to see it. I think you know the line. As somebody who similarly looks like one of the nothing but trouble babies, I think you know exactly what the line is. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Like, I, mean, I think you know exactly what the line is. You don't want to feel self-conscious about it. You know? Then don't listen to don't well, jerk off to the sound of your own fucking. That, well, that doesn't make me self conscious, but the visuals of me having sex would. When the microphone is on, are you are you conscious? Are you thinking I better make some really good noises for later? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty. I'm in the moment. You know, it's an immersive experience. Will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that weird. I bet I'm not the only person who does it. I do, it's just listeners. If you do that, text JG Greer on on Twitter and let him know. It's and, it, and it's just sound only, no video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to see myself have sex ever, basically. But I'll listen to it. Oh my god! And, I, and I'm not sitting there like listening to my own grunts and be like, "That was a good grunt." I'm listening to the other person <laughs> grunt. Okay, and, but you did yeah. very clearly specify. The year, okay. Yeah, it's it's not for my, it's not for my noises. It's not my piggy okay. noises. Okay, it did it's not seem my like it was, like maybe your noises were a factor. No, 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 no. It, it's it's for it's for the other noises involved. I'm not I'm not the loudest person when I'm having sex. So the uh, yeah, we uh, learned a lot. So of course yeah. this is a Binding of Isaac podcast for people who don't know. Yeah, it's Chicken um, Sunday again. It's mostly about a video game. Um. <laughs> the, um and uh, speaking of uh, human anatomy, curved horn. Yeah, humans don't have this one. No, no. Mostly, uh, but, I don't want to judge people. Yeah, you might have a horn. Um. Oh, best trinket in the game, by the way. Yeah, best yeah. Trinket in the game by far. Yep. Yep. Uh, like I, depending on the day you ask me, you could convince me that cancer is as good. Yeah, maybe. Um, just because you know, cancer by itself not as good, but cancer once you are at the tear cap anyway. And go over that tear cap and you just, you know, you're getting that, like, absolute super rapid fire. That's very fun. But there's also 90 items in this game that let you have two trinkets at once, so. Yeah, yeah. Getting them both. I've had them both and it's awesome. So, uh, this is just a plus two damage up. Yeah, it's just a damage up that's better than most damage ups. Yep. And it happens before multipliers. So, it gets multiplied. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, and, uh, what? This works with Mom's Box, I assume. It doesn't say it on the wiki, it does. but it, it would have to, I think. Which then makes it a mighty plus four damage. Which is huge. Reminder that Isaac's starting damage is 3.5, so that's more, more than, than double right there. Yeah. And even, you know, plus two is, you know, very significant. Phenomenal. Plus, like, 60% or something like that. Like, this just <laughs> makes your run so much smoother. Yeah. This yeah. is a reason, like, this, this and Cancer are... Sp- Really reasons to take mom's box. Yeah. Even just for the uh, the space bar usage where you're just going through the trinket pool trying to get one of these. Yeah. Yeah. And and this is also a thing where it ends up being uh, kind of frustrating the like trinket pollution that happened in the game. Yeah. You know, um, as they keep the adding kind of garbage trinkets ones. is so wide. Yeah. It like makes this very rare. So. This yeah. is a trinket. This is one of the rare class of trinkets you have to unlock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. fittingly, you beat the lamb who has horns like this mm-hmm. as Judas, who is all about bumping your damage up. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it just becomes this thing you're going to want to have whenever you can have it. Yeah. Um, what else about this? Much like audio of yourself, uh, just go to your partner. someone and your, and your partner. Mm-hmm. And or, um, yeah. Yeah. So in the original scenario with Burgess Meredith, we were saying like he's really sure. sad because he can't read books, right? Exactly. But if we went back in time and like a Challenger explosion, quantum leap kind of thing, sure, everyone's familiar could, with that premise. We could jerk him off. Perhaps we've been cursed by the ghost of Gregor Kafka. And then we were thinking, how many Franz loads? Kafka, does Franz he, Kafka. Franz Kafka. Franz Kafka. Like how many uh, loads does he have before he dies? And then we'd be free, basically. Sure. And then we could just live in that world. And we have, you know, I I need glasses, but I can read. So I'd have time at last. And then I also, I'd probably jerk myself off as well from time to time. Um, yeah. It'd be, Wait, it'd be not that bad. Are inhabiting his body? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was just the two of us. Gary, you're not I'm familiar not... with the premise of Quantum Leap? <laughs> Gary, we've done yeah. a lot of Quantum Leap content on this show to not be I... familiar with Quantum Leap. Yes, but for some reason, for in this scenario, it was just me and you, as me and you, going back and getting to work. 
<laughs> okay. in my head. Okay. Like, just kind of like, all right, Mr. Meredith. You're saying like some kind of Terminator situation. Yeah. Yeah. Like we appear in, in, a, in a time sphere, like electricity sphere. Yeah. You know? And then as, we, we, as go, we all know from Arnold Schwarzenegger's wrestling video intros. Yeah. As, as the two naked babies from Nothing But Trouble. Sure. And then we go into a, a big and tall store and and get dressed and then just find Burgess Meredith who's crying about how he doesn't have his glasses. And like you know, the kind thing at that point would be to get him new glasses. You know? Because he can't so. see well enough. I mean, I the like implication that. is that everything blew up except a library and the bank vault he was in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that it wasn't just a normal last man on Earth scenario. It was also last last buildings on Earth. Scenario. Yeah, yeah, it's it's rough. Yeah, but there would be there would we would be able to jerk him off though. In that situation. Yeah, he's he's still you know he's still a man. Presu- presumably, yeah, for a while, you know, until until a certain number of loads were extricated, and then. So in know, this in this scenario, <laughs> we're sort of we're a pair of overweight time succubi. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the time succubi or incubi, I guess. Yeah, the time incubus. Yeah. Oh God, um, man! Do you remember just cruising around in high school and just listening, listening to, to Time, time incubus? incubus? Yeah, yeah, man. I had a friend who was really into Time Incubus. Yeah, yeah. Still friends with that person? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what should people do if they like the show? Well, I could not begin to imagine. Yeah, the, the, yeah. It's a uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I am drained. Yeah, this, this, is, this is not like drained like Burgess Meredith. No. Unfortunately. Um, yeah. There's uh, a portrait of myself somewhere that is just looking really <laughs> shitty right now. Uh, Patreon.com slash TV. <laughs> I get that cheddar. It's good. I got to get some cheds. Uh, and then ratings, reviews, and then being nice to us online. And uh, we Please. review. Don't mention this one. Yep. And Sk- good night. Good night. <laughs>